AJ Madden here. Let's talk about principle number four, charismatic energies. This is one of our 12 power principles of leadership from 1% Warrior Leadership available on Amazon and my website, coachajmadden.com. Let's jump into our charismatic energies. And there are three energies that we talk about, focus, certainty, and enthusiasm. And what we'll do in this video, I will talk about some of the key points from the book and then expand on them beyond what is in the book. So the first principle we'll talk about is focus <clears throat> in terms of charismatic energies that a leader, an elite leader, a high impact, respected and admired leader will have these three charismatic energies. The first one being focus. And we can think about focus in terms of presence, being present to the person or people in front of us, to the situation in front of us, being undistracted. A hallmark of focus and presence is being an expert listener. And that is listening without interruption or judgment <clears throat> to the people or person in front of you. It is heart-centered listening. It is <clears throat> undistracted listening, which means no cell phone interruptions, no digital interruptions in terms of a laptop, no people interruptions in terms of people, <clears throat> excuse me, coming into the meetings or coming into the conversation. It is an extreme focus on that individual in front of you. If you took 100 people right now, or you let's take 100 leaders, how many out of 100 are continuously present in a conversation or in a meeting without interruption, distraction? Maybe one or two, one or two at the most, maybe five, <clears throat> but it's, it, it is closer to one or two that are just consistently present. I'm not saying 100% of the time, but the vast majority of the time they're able to hold presence and be an expert listener to people. And here's a quote from Ryan Holiday, best-selling author and uh, ph uh, philosopher. And he, he talks about, um, you know, living a better life and stoicism, stoic philosophy. And Ryan says, plug that hole, that one right in the middle of your face that drains you of your vital life force. Watch what happens. Watch how much better you get. <clears throat> so he refers to that hole in the middle of your face that you talk out of uh, something that can drain your vital life force if you talk too much. I challenge leaders. I use the 90% rule for CEO for CEOs, high-level leaders. I work with mostly number what I call number ones, which are CEOs and uh, or presidents, someone who's ahead of a, an organization. And I challenge them. I have a 90% rule. And one part of that rule is that you listen 90% of the time and talk 10% of the time. A lot of leaders do the opposite of that. They talk 90% of the time, listen 10. Respected and admired leaders, there's exceptions to this. And situa they're situational, but they're listening 90% of the time and they are talking 10. When they're talking, they're asking questions and they're steering, giving uh, short and to the point instructions to others. I have yet to find a highly respected and admired and effective leader who is extremely long-winded. <clears throat> I'm sure they're out there, but they are certainly the exception to the rule. So in terms of char charismatic energies, focus, listen more than you talk, be present, be an expert listener. The second, our second charismatic energy is certainty. And certainty is a level above confidence. So what we look for in leaders, the number one thing I look for in leaders is that certainty, which is a level above confidence. I want leaders who are certain in the heroic mission and the ability of the organization and the team and themselves to achieve it. I want leaders that are certain in themselves and the standards enough to uphold those standards. They can challenge people. They have the certainty to challenge people to be the best version of themselves so they can have a difficult conversation. They can make difficult decisions because they have a certainty in themselves and what they are doing and the mission of the organization and that they're doing things legally, ethically, and win-win. And I want leaders that are certain enough that they can give certainty to others. 
which is what I call giving self-esteem. You have to give self to give self-esteem to others. You have to have it yourself. So one of the most important things a leader can have is self-esteem. And that is interchange that word with certainty. <clears throat> they are uh, parallel concepts in, in my mind, in my universe, and in my leadership coaching. And to have certainty, you've got to have that self-esteem. And to have self-esteem, you have to have certainty in yourself that you can uh, you know, achieve big things and, and give self-esteem to others. And be certain in the greatness of others. An important part of a leader is to bring out the greatness in others and to see someone as the best version of themselves and to believe in that person's greatness and to be certain in that greatness. And sometimes that person doesn't even see it in themselves, but as a leader, you've got to be certain that that greatness is in there and they can, they can bring it out. So there's charismatic energy number two, certainty. Here's a quote from Joe Paterno about certainty. When Bear Bryant walked down the football field, self-confidence hung in the air around him like a fine mist. That was good for at least one touchdown for Alabama. Confidence was a secret ingredient of Bryant's success and Vince Lombardi's legend. So Joe Paterno is saying that confidence was good for at least a touchdown for Alabama. And that, that energy of confidence that Bear Bryant or Vince Lombardi, two of the greatest football coaches of all time, brought onto the field was good enough to actually end up on the scoreboard. That's how Joe Paterno for, uh, felt, metaphorically or literally. And the last uh, charismatic energy is enthusiasm. You have to be able to energize as a leader. That is a prerequisite. You've got to be able to energize people in terms of achieving that heroic mission and being energized by the work that they do. So you have to have that energy yourself first. You've got to be energized your first, yourself first in order to energize others. So you, we can interchange the words enthusiasm and energy here. It is absolutely a prerequisite. If you're, if you're not having fun and you're not energized by the work that you do as a leader, you will never be able to compete on a high level or even a, you know on an entry level because there's always going to be someone who's more energized and is having more fun with the work than you are and they will beat you pretty much every time. I'm not saying you have to have fun 100% of the time because there's no such job. I, I don't think there is where someone's having fun 100% of the time, but the vast majority of the time, 80, 90% of the time, you have to be having fun and be enthusiastic about the work that you do in order to energize your team, energize your customers on your product or service, energize your community. That is an absolute prerequisite, this enthusiasm for the work, this energy. One of my true tests of a leader is can you energize on the days that you don't feel like them? Can you energize on those days when you're having a rough day, inside or outside of work? Can you still bring that enthusiasm to the team, to the mission, to your customers, to your community? That is a real test of a leader. And if we took this enthusiasm, this energy test, especially on the days that you don't feel like it took a hundred leaders, maybe one or two out of a hundred can bring the enthusiasm and energy, especially on the days that they don't feel like it, or just bring the enthusiasm and energy, period, period. If we took a hundred leaders, how many are operating at a high level of certainty and that confidence and that self-esteem again, one or two out of a hundred. So if you are operating, if you're practicing at a, at a high level in terms of focus, certainty and enthusiasm, this puts you at such a high level of leadership. This puts you one in a thousand leaders, one in 10,000, maybe even. <clears throat> you are beyond elite at this point. You are at a pinnacle <clears throat> of leadership. If you can just do those three things. So I challenge you to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 on each one of those focus, certainty, and enthusiasm. <clears throat> Take the one that you scored yourself the lowest on, practice only that, I get better, getting better at that for the next 30 to 90 days and watch your leadership effectiveness, respect and admiration skyrocket <clears throat> just by improving one of those areas. So I challenge you 30, 90 days to do that. Here's a quote from Ed Milat. People respond to energy much more than they do words. They respond to what they feel, not what they hear and see. Hear and see are low level influencers. Energy, spirit, transfer of energy is what people respond to. 
The best leaders come from a place of monster conviction and belief. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe. If you found it useful, please share it with someone else you believe will also find it useful. Pick yourself up a copy of 1% Warrior Leadership available on Amazon and my website, coachajmadden.com. I know you'll find it useful. This is 20 years of leadership experience poured into a short, easy to read book. And this is from In the Trenches Experience. These are the best of the best principles and practices that I have learned over the last 20 years. And I know it doesn't matter what level of leadership you're at, you're just starting your leadership journey or you've been on it for a long time, I know you'll find something useful in this book. I wish everyone success and happiness and I challenge you, I challenge you to practice that focus, that certainty and that enthusiasm every day as a leader.